Alright, Jack, come on. It feels cold out here. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, don't know. I know we look crazy out here in the parking lot. A bunch of men walking around smelling flowers. I told you! It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So, y'all just remember that. You see some flowers out there, you pull up on the side of the I'm road and you smell them flowers. And you say, man, ain't got no business <laughs> not smelling flowers. You don't be telling Don't let you. nobody question your manhood. Good morning, IG family. It's a cold morning in Mississippi this morning. I'm out here getting the truck going because uh, we have a doctor's appointment for little Benjamin. Getting everything warmed up. I got this old diesel. <laughs> so you know how these these diesels. You had to plug them up on cold, cold mornings. It was like below freezing last night. And uh, yeah, so we got the whistle over and now going. Megan's getting the boys ready. I think she's cooking some bread and things in there. But I'm getting the truck warmed up for everybody because uh, the van is fast. It's actually still running, but uh, it's running a little bit rough. We're gonna take it to the dealership to uh, get it worked on. I think I think it might need a tune-up, but uh, we're gonna take that to the dealership probably later on today. And we got a doctor's appointment early this morning, so we're gonna uh, roll out in the truck this morning. <laughs> it's a good time. I actually uh, got it cleaned up the other day. Got it all vacuumed and smelling good in here. I didn't get a chance to wash the outside. I wasn't gonna do that because uh, you know when you when you're taking the family along, you can't <laughs> have mud everywhere and dirt everywhere. But yeah, we gonna uh, we got we got a fun day planned for today. And we'll just pick y'all up throughout the day. We'll get, let y'all know how little Benjamin is doing. Little Benjamin Jehu is doing inside of Megan's stomach. And uh, after we get, get down with the doctor's appointment, and then we just pick y'all up throughout the day. Let's, let's go in here and see what the boys got going on. Good What's up? Uh, that scares you, man. Yeah, I'm What's up? Oh, yeah. How's it going? Doing good. I'm just cleaning up from my breakfast and lunch. I'm pre-made some rolls for lunch. Yeah. Um, Straightening everything up. Got the boys ready and we're ready to roll. Ready to roll. Yeah, I was telling everybody we got, we got to go in the truck today because the van is acting a little funny. Yeah. So we're here to check on little, little Benjamin J. Who? That's right. That's right. Yep. Should be fun. Yeah. He's in there. I'm sure he's doing all right. Oh, yeah. Boys, how y'all doing? Good. We might want to. We can go to the park if we uh, want to. We had to see. We had to see. It's a cold day today. How's the fire feeling, boys? Good. Got good fire going. Oh. The wood stove. Uh, we, we, Got a nice little bit of wood there because, uh, <clears throat> we gonna, like I said, it's going to be a cold couple of nights ahead of us. Y'all go sit down, boys. I'm coming back up. Got a cold couple nice ahead of us, so we got a little bit of wood stacked up right there. Fire going. What you guys say, Ty? We're growing some items just in case we get, because we're going to be in the truck for a pretty long time. Yeah, because only only two people are allowed in the doctor's office. Two people wearing masks are allowed in the doctor's get office. Your mask. Oh, I ain't breaking no masks. I ain't going in there. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't messing with them folks today. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what you think, though? What you guys say? Yeah, see, y'all got y'all some things. You got your coloring book that yeah. you're going to color in the truck while we're in the truck. Two dollars. Yeah. Uh, Two dollars. You got the teeth? No, nuts. Yeah, I see it, babe. The color of these. Mm-hmm. We got the Oh, dirt. and you found out which thing to do. Where'd you get that coloring book from, though? In the homeschool room. How did it get in the homeschool room? Uh, uh, Subscribe. Yeah. You want to you, you say anything to the subscriber that sent you that book? Yeah. What you want to say? Thank you for this coloring book. Yeah. Just had it in me. All right. All right, y'all. So we're going to get ready to roll out. And like I said, we'll just pick y'all up throughout the day and just see what we can get into today. Y'all just join us for today's journey. Yeah. 
It is. Feels good. Build up the township. Opals and diamonds. Beauty for ashes. Silk in the sun. Okay, I help you. <laughs> no, I was crying because he thought he forgot his colors. I said, no, he didn't. He put them in his pocket. He put them in his pocket. So he ain't panicking back. Yeah, like, does that remind you of somebody? I forgot my phone. Exactly. Just like mom. <laughs> Y'all made it to the doctor's office. Getting ready to check on little Benjamin. Yeah. And Megan is uh, she gonna go in by herself today because uh, we're not buying a two dollar mask. But uh, she's working on getting food ready for the boys. We hadn't eaten breakfast so early, so we're gonna feed the boys, get a little food in us. Have you eaten yet? No, I'm not sure. I'm never sure if I'm supposed to eat them oh, or yeah. these appointments. So I always just hold off on eating. I got you. That's smart. Yeah, All right. So we're going to get us a little bit of breakfast in us. And we're going to sit here until Megan gets done with the appointment. Boys. Oh, we might go where? To the park. Oh, we might find a little park around here to go to. Oh, we might go to McDonald's. Uh, no. McDonald's? We're eating now, buddy. You're just going back to all of the, uh, you know, hopes and dreams. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're gonna stay here for a minute, get us a little breakfast, and just make go ahead in. And uh, you know, we'll we'll kind of get an idea of what all she got going on, cause we don't want to leave and get there to the park and have to leave right away. So we'll just wait for a minute, eat our food, see how she's doing in there, and then if she's gonna take a while. We're we'll probably gonna head to the park, let the boys play for a minute, and then head back when she's done. So we just pick y'all up and give y'all a report once we're done, and let y'all know how Benjamin is doing. All right, y'all. We're sitting here. Waiting on Megan to come back out. She says uh, Benjamin's doing good, but I'll wait till she uh come out to, to tell y'all, let y'all know, tell y'all all details. But me and the boys, we saw this, uh I think this may be a camellia bush over here, back here behind us. And I told the boys, I looked at those flowers over there, and I said, uh, man ain't got no business not smelling flowers if you see something. Got no business smelling flowers. The boy said uh, smelling flowers is not a manly thing. I said, who told you that? So we're we going over here to smell these flowers. Come on, boy. Come on and smell these flowers. Man, I ain't got no business. Smelling flowers. Not smelling flowers. I'm really just trying to stretch our legs, y'all. We've been <laughs> sitting here for a while. You can Make, go to the park if you want to. We got tires and headaches, so. Y'all, come on. Come on and smell these flowers. This is uh, I'm giving y'all liberty as men. If you see a rose bush somewhere, no. you have liberty to go no. smell the flowers. Don't smell them. It's a manly thing to smell no. flowers. No. Oh, that's gonna smell these flowers. You wanna go first, Tim? Yes. Give one to mom. Uh, I think these are roses. They have thorns. You can pick one. What you think? Good. Smell good, don't good. Yep. You glad you came there, Ham? Yeah. Go ahead, no. Your turn. <laughs> Did you hear tires? Why are you talking so loud? <laughs> what you think, no? <laughs> smell Nasty. good, don't it? You, gonna sm you smell yours, Tim? Yes, sir. What does it smell like? Good. Like, Here, tires. Mm -hmm. Cool with me. Smell flour. <laughs> Let me let all me and no, just go ahead and smell flour. <laughs> <laughs> smell like honey. Flowers smell like honey. You like open up my sinuses. Smell good on top. Yeah. All right, y'all, come on. It feels cool out here. Oh yeah, it is. I know we look crazy out here in the parking lot. A bunch of men walking around smelling flowers. I told you. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So y'all just remember that. You see some flowers out there, you pull up on the side of the road, 
and you smell them flowers. And you say, a man ain't got no business <laughs> not smelling flowers. You be telling Don't let you, nobody question your manhood. <laughs> you be try, t telling somebody that and they actually do it. Oh, yeah. And they're going to feel good just like I do. All right, y'all. That's right. Y'all going to get back in. All right, y'all. Megan should be out pretty soon. And I'll pick y'all up when she's walking out. And then we'll get a report on little baby Benjamin Jehu. See, mama's back. I'm back. What's up? It was intense. Oh, I yeah. had to have two sonograms. Oh, yeah. Benjamin Little one. Benjamin J, who was flipping around doing donuts in there. And All right. Give us a report. How's everything? Everything's great. Benjamin J, who weighs one pound already. And he's doing great in there. Got a strong heartbeat. Everything look good. His spine, his heart, um, his little... Uh, you know bones and everything was perfect and great so we're excited sounds good and you're five months right you said six yes. months five, five months. months i'm 21 weeks and three days all right so we're we're more than halfway through right yes we are yep sounds good y'all got some mom boys yes Crayons. Yeah. These are beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, we got out and went and smelled the flowers while we were waiting. Y'all needed to. I'm glad. We, we said a man ain't got no business seeing them flowers over no, there. No, a smelling. man ain't got no business smelling flowers. <laughs> so if you wouldn't have smelled them flowers, you wouldn't have got that smile right there from your mama. Thank you. You see, you see what I'm saying now? See, take, take heed to the wisdom. I love them. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess it's time for us to get back to the country, yes, right? Please take me to get, the country. Get away from around here. My <laughs> All right, my boys, I'm gonna let y'all use the bathroom, and we're gonna pull off. Get her done. <laughs> Let's look in this laundry room now. It's a lot of space. Oh, yeah. All right, 
so my plan for cleaning out this shelf is that you know most of this stuff can get rehomed to bathrooms like this little the cleaning supplies the laundry detergent all that is temporarily going to get rehomed to bathrooms um so under the sink in our bathroom and under the sink in the boys bathroom is where i'm going to rehome most of this stuff like this could go to the kitchen pantry um so if it's either going to bathrooms or it's going to the kitchen and in the cabinet and the pantry. And you know, most a lot of this stuff can just get thrown away. It's stuff in boxes. I think we might have a couple of good uh um <clears throat> light bulbs, but you know, most of this stuff can be condensed, thrown away, and rehomed. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so now we're just gonna get to it. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, you're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't trench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there. And we might, we might be lost, but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Alright y'all, we got everything clean. I have a small pile of things that we're keeping and rehoming. Bag of trash. And I gotta figure out what to do with um, these uh, pesticides. So, that's it. We got everything cleaned off. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Alright y'all, we've gotten it cleaned up in here in the laundry room. We um, got everything cleaned out, got the washer and dryer out. We were um, able to clean off that shelf and also get the shelf out. And Tim has popped off all the trim. And now he's working on cutting out this roll-on floor so that we'll be in position to get the new flooring in and we'll just continue from here with this same flooring we still have a bunch of boxes of it or at least enough boxes of it and um we'll go on with the flooring once we can get it painted in here so that'll be our next step once he rips up the floor we gotta go and um see what we have as far as paint i know we have a little bit more of this gray paint 
It's called. But yeah, probably not enough to finish <laughs> out. Um, my, my goal is if I can just get it primed. But yeah. I don't even think we got like stuff to prime. I don't think like, we even have I any more primer. Need, I think we need a paint tray. We need some more rollers. Because uh, we're just getting back into the rhythm of painting, painting again. When we did the homeschool room. And so we were kind of running out of material then. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I actually think that um, we're completely out of primer. So, yeah, might have to make a trip to the, to the store. Yep. So, yeah, so we are now just kind of getting back to it. It'll be laundry room. Uh, we got a few more things we want to do in the kitchen, but it's not like painting and flooring and stuff like that. It's like a totally different, like, animal <laughs> of renovation. Like, uh, you need different types of supplies. Yeah, Tim and I were talking about how. You know, when you do a different thing, it requires different supplies. And you have to go back and, like, find all your carpentry supplies or your finishing nail gun or your nail gun or this or that. And when you're painting, you got to find all your paint brushes and your paint trays and you make sure you have the right paint. So, we're trying to get back in that mode now, y'all. And um, we'll have to do that again with the bathrooms. And then, like, we're done. We will have painted every surface we will have changed the flooring you know on every surface of the floor and emma will be completely new and completely redone can you believe that hard to believe from where we started <laughs> like when we got emma did you know that we were going to, like, redo everything like that? Mm -hmm. I don't I, think I... I thought we were just going to maybe paint a little bit. Yeah. Not to this extent. For real. But once we kind of got into it, you start to see. Yep. You know, oh, okay. It's like the Lord reminded us that he told us to establish a home, not, you know, to just do something quick. Right, so yeah. We've, we've been establishing a home. So we took everything down, mm -hmm. and now we're building everything back up. Yep. Might as well do it right if you're going to do it. Man ain't got no business <laughs> half doing some. Yeah, so. I just, I can't believe, like, literally it'll be every surface. And you can even count the ceilings, you know, oh, yeah. because we scraped all the ceilings and repainted all the ceilings. So, literally, every single surface will be made new. I don't know, it's some type of parable in that, like. All things new. All, he that, that, makes that's, all that's things new. <laughs> For real, he makes all things new. Beautiful ashes. Yeah, that's it. I just, yeah, it's still blowing my mind. I know I keep saying it, but it's just kind of blowing my mind because that wasn't our plan necessarily in the beginning. But we just kind of follow the Lord and the promptings of the Holy Spirit and what he was leading us to. And then it's like, wow, he made all things new. Yeah. Sounds like a scripture that's going to have to go up somewhere. Yeah. On one of these walls. And then we we're repainting. <laughs> we haven't found one piece of rotten wood yet. No. It does get into my, to my you know, uh -oh. allergies. You need a mask. You know, a man ain't got no allergy. Yeah, so you need a mask. <laughs> nah, <I'm good. laughs> I got one for $2 if you... <laughs> yeah, right. I just had to slide that in there. I don't know why you, you should have been expecting that. <laughs> nah, but I'm trying to talk to him. He's over there working. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to see what you're doing because I don't want to step on your other floor. Oh, you're fine. And come in. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll flip it. Okay, good. No, I was just worried about being, you know. Stepping on what you were pulling up. Oh, no. But, yeah, I would like to come a little closer and actually get to see you pulling up the floor. I said, at least it's not too hard to get up. <laughs> Spoke with somebody holding the camera. <laughs> At least it's easy to get up. And I said not too as, hard. As I'm down here grinding and moaning. I said not too hard. That's all over. Because <laughs> that stuff could be glued down. All the men out there watching understand me. 
white beard in the background. Oh, yeah, that don't look too hard. No. It's like, would you like to try? <laughs> no, I said, at least it's not too hard. I didn't say it look easy. Nah, Listen, now to be a compliment. You make this look easy. Uh, you, you, you just, uh, you know. You, you're trying to butter me up so I can, uh, You just pull that wall. So I, can, I can renovate your next house. Oh, yes. Listen, I'm not trying to think about the next house. It's like, can I live in this house? <laughs> I guess I'm thinking about the next house. <laughs> you are. You, you're having all these babies. I know. Like, right? we, we were good with uh, three kids in them, but now, <laughs> in about five years, I got to be ready to expand. You do. It's going to be, uh, well, gonna I guess be... not in five years, but we're going to have teenage boys soon in that little bathroom, and they're not going to be good enough. It's going to be four boys, big old boys, your size, pretty soon. They are growing every day. So, yeah, I guess we do need to think about it. Huh? <laughs> You always like to be prepared. That's why you're thinking five years on that one. You don't want to be caught off guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, we were watching. Yeah, let's see. Get the piece of yeah, because we were watching something or looking at something. I can't remember what we were uh, watching. Maybe it was YouTube or listening to something. About, it was a, a couple because they messed up and had triplets. Like, <laughs> Like last kiss, and it's like, oh, and triplets. It was too funny. Oh, man. <laughs> it was too funny. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not having triplets. There is only one child in there. It's so funny because you asked me that again when we went to the doctor the last time. You were like, it's just one in there, right? Oh yeah, because you get so big so fast. <laughs> I'm all the way around now. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and roll it up and up. pull it out. <laughs> it was always excited with no rotten wood. Yes, it is. It's got a little wind spot right there. I don't know why I got to figure out where it's coming from. Probably one of those pipes or something. Yeah. Yeah, and I, uh, last house we didn't uh renovate we uh Terminate. resuscitated <laughs> but it was like every time we had to cut into a wall or do something right. it was rotten every time we had to pull up a board it was rotten like rotten and uh emma has been the exact opposite that's all I asked for. I'm like, yeah. oh man, renovating and all those type of things. But I'm not touching any rotten wood. Resuscitate. Uh. That's what uh, Tim Jr. asked me. He said, uh, how long is it dead? Because we were watching uh, some, some video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And the guy bought an old, old uh, house that was like falling down and rotting. Mm -hmm. And Tim Jr. said, how long until you uh, can touch rotten wood again? I said, maybe never. <laughs> that the Lord see fit and have grace and mercy on me. I never want to touch a piece of rotten wood again. Yeah, but he can walk me in the floor. All right, so we've gotten the roll-on floor removed. And, uh, yeah, we'll be ready for underlayment and flooring once we get everything in here primed and painted. And that really shouldn't take long. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's a small room. Small. We, we, we painted so much on Emma that uh, mm -hmm. we're going to roll through this room so quick. This, 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 this room here, this whole laundry room, it's like the size of that, that homeschool wall that we did. Right, that. yeah, for real. We did that in one day. Yeah, we might, Um, you do need to do some work up yeah, here with the drywall ceiling. ceiling. I'll probably but, uh, risk it and do that after I get done with everything else. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's best to do it like before. But yeah, because that does. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. So, uh, I'm going to get out here and see. I know I'm sweaty and dirty and dusty and I'm probably looking crazy. I'm going to go out here and see if we have any primer and, uh, We'll get the primer, and if not, I'm gonna have to go run to the store and get primer. So we'll just pick y'all up when it's time to start priming. All right, y'all, we're just getting ready to finish off our weekend and get back started on this laundry room back up behind us. As you can see, we got it good and ripped down, and we're all just 
relaxing and uh, chilling out in our pajamas and just having a good time. The boys are back there watching the movie. Megan is in here cooking in the kitchen. She got some uh, black eyed peas going and cornbread, so we heard to eat good. I'm gonna turn y'all around, show y'all this real quick. What are you doing? So I have picked out our washer dryer unit for our larger room. We're gonna go ahead and get it ordered. Um, it looks like it could be here as soon as not this Monday, but next Monday. So right about the time we're finishing up with the laundry room. Hopefully, Lord willing. Yeah. <laughs> Pressure, yeah. timeline. No, that's just a week, you know, I'm sure. And even if it's not done completely, I think we'll be done enough to move the unit in. Mm -hmm. But this actually is a um, already stacked unit. I had to choose, well, I narrowed it down between this unit and a Samsung stackable unit because, of course, we wanted the black stainless steel. So these are the options that um, look the best. And... I really like this one. It has this uh, panel in the middle that controls the washer and dryer. So, you know, you don't end up with controls all the way at the very top there like you do with the stackable unit. Yeah. So, um, I think I think this was a, is a good choice, a good option. So, we're going to go ahead and go with this uh, already stacked LG washer top tower. And... Um, We'll just purchase it from Home Depot, and yeah, I'm excited to wash and dry again. <laughs> I can remember the first time. Remember the first time we moved the uh, washer and dryer in? And yeah, we did a whole video on it. I know. Yeah. We had a good run, and then our dryer, which Went out. it's a really old dryer, so I've, we've replaced the washer and the dryer was still kicking, still kicking. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the same dryer that we had when we first <laughs> moved into our house and got married. Yep. And it wasn't new. <laughs> oh, it was used. It wasn't mm -hmm. new when we got it. So um, we'll just get this washer dryer combo and fun we yay. Um, we'll be doing laundry in Emma again. That's right. Even though we've been using the washer, we've, we, we've been hanging clothes, hanging clothes on the fence line outside. Holy do, do all laundry. laundry inside. All right, so let me give y'all one last look. <laughs> Is there any more pictures, anything that you want to show? Let's see. They have some. So here's what they open. Okay, so they both open to the front. Yes. Yeah. Front loading. Mm -hmm. That shows the height. So it'll be right at about um, 74 inches, okay. which we can do up to 80 in our laundry room easily. That's where you load, you know, your detergent, detergent and fabric softener and all that good stuff. Stainless steel tub. No. It looks nice. The image with it open. So, so no more hanging clothes on the, the laundry, on, on the fence line outside. <laughs> I'm contemplating getting the uh, protection plan this oh, time. Yeah. But, you know, they, they last. A long time the dryers and the washers we had, you know, they go out right about the time the protection plan goes oh, out. That's <laughs> so. right. All right, y'all, about to get this washer and dryer combo ordered, and we're just winding down for the weekend. It's Sunday today, and uh, I'm just back there watching football. The boys in there watching movies. Megan is in here shopping and doing cooking, <laughs> cooking shopping. And cleaning, and all that good stuff. We're all doing the things that we love to do to so relax and just chill out. And so uh, I'm just gonna we'll see y'all. I think early tomorrow. Yeah, that's right, Monday early tomorrow morning. Get back started on this. Uh, get back started on this lunch room. So we'll just see y'all in the morning.
All right, y'all, so I'm done with my paint prep. I got everything caulked. I got a couple more nails that I see, finishing nails from the trim that I took out. But you see, I got it. Got all these little strips uh, nailed down better because they just loosely nailed them down. They stapled them down, actually, originally, in this mobile home. And I got them nailed down good and tight. Then I got them caulked down the edges so that when I put my paint on them, it just looks nice and smooth and you don't see a gap there. But yeah, I got a couple more nails to nail down. And once I get those nails nailed down, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my prime on the walls. Everything is prepped now. And I've learned that when I'm painting, to take time and do the prep work. Because if I do the prep work, like caulking, getting rid of nail holes, uh, getting rid of loose, straight nails that's hanging out. If I do all those things before I start painting, I don't have to stop and like pull nails out and caulk holes and things like that during painting. So now I'm just ready to roll on rolls of painting. It's, it's pretty much easy now. <laughs> the hard part is out of the way, all that prep work. But yeah, I got a couple more nails to nail down. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna start putting some coats of, coats of primer on these walls. I'll probably put about three coats of primer on here and maybe two coats of regular paint just to make sure that everything locks in because uh, these walls are, uh, it's wallpaper up on these walls. And so I wanna make sure that everything locks in good and doesn't peel off or scrape off. Yeah, it's on bump against the walls. But yeah, that's what I'm, I'm gonna get doing to get, get going. And uh, I'll probably get to the floor flooring on the next video. I probably won't have time to do that today on this video. It's probably about time to end this video. And uh, we've gotten a lot done so far. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some paint, get my roller, and get going. Sign. Sign. Am I yeah. Beat? yeah. They hear me what I'm doing, I just tell them I'm just doing God's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing God's work. They hear me what I'm doing, I just tell them I'm just doing God's work. Yeah. Should dry quickly and we should be going on with the actual paint color soon right. it looks like it's going on pretty well like it's absorbing you know mm -hmm. yeah, i probably do about three coats of primer yeah i know that sounds like a lot to most people because <laughs> i do have the paint plus prime primer right but to the older subscribers who've been watching for a while you know that we like to prime real well yeah and I, all walls y'all are not created equally you know, it's like you might be able to just do the paint press plus primer paint. That's a mouthful. Oh, uh, yeah. Over sheetrock. <laughs> Over just, you over know, sheetrock that's paper. been painted before, you know. But, yeah, if you're going over wallpaper, if you have, um, you know, maybe imperfections in your walls or something like that, texture or whatever, like you might need to just, you know, prime it several times. And plus, we want to lock it in and make sure that it's, Right, so because yeah, this wallpaper likes to peel, mm -hmm. like if it starts peeling just a little bit, the whole thing you know, across the whole wall yeah. peels. And uh, we've actually had that. This primer kind of helps to lock it in mm -hmm. before that level of paint goes on, right? So there's less chance of peeling. Yeah. Now it's still peel if you like find a little nick somewhere like this right and here pull and start on it. Mm -hmm. so as long as you don't find like a nick like that. Because the primer really kind of like lays those spots down. Yeah. And 
kind of locks them in the way they want to peel. And I almost feel like it gives it a level of uh, being waterproof, yeah. if that makes sense. Because um, if it gets too moist and bubbles up, the yeah. water I mean, will cause the wallpaper to bubble up and the paint will come off with it. Mm -hmm. So putting that primer on... I, I don't know if that's a real thing, like a moisture seal layer or whatever, but it seems like it locks it in more so than just the paint. Look at that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it's looking look good in this real little room. I'm getting excited. Oh, yeah. It's a room too small for me to use the handle. It is kind of small. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. It's small, but it's big. Depending on your, your, your perspective. Your, yeah. For a laundry room, it's, it's big. It's big. Mm -hmm. Especially a laundry room like in a, yeah. a mobile home. Because when we looked at the other mobile homes, like the brand new one didn't even have. It was in the hallway. Right. It was just a closet in the hallway. So... This is a huge plus, and then getting that stackable unit, that's going to be a game changer in terms of the space. We can put a freezer in here. We can, um, you know, have a table where I can fold clothes. So we got a lot of different options now. I'm trying to video you and not step in the paint here or <laughs> swipe against the paint, <laughs> against the wall <laughs> behind me. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're just about done with this first coat, and we're going to go on with about two more coats, and then we'll go on with the paint. So just stick around. We've got more to come. coat of primer on every surface in the laundry room so we are done with that and you see how the primer is just kind of soaking in well the first coat of the real paint would have done that and then we would have had to go with another coat of paint and then probably even another coat of paint after that uh, so instead we're going to go with the three coats of primer and make sure everything's locked in and that there's a good surface to paint on and then we'll actually probably only have to go with just a couple of coats of paint so two more coats of paint which i think three coats of primer and two coats of paint is much better than having to do five coats of um the paint plus primer because it just you know it's been our experience with these walls that it just soaks in the paint. We've got one coat of primer down. I'm so excited. And two more to go. So we'll just pick you back up when we are ready to go on with the real actual paint. <laughs> Thank you. 
The time has arrived. We've got a really, really nice coat of primer. You can really just see see it, you know. It looks more like a wall. No more wallpaper. And he's cutting in these areas already with the gray paint and the paintbrush. And it's time to roll. Ready to roll. Literally. We're about to roll on some paint. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be like finished. This is fun though, these rooms that we're completing. Like we just completed the homeschool room. Now we're completing the laundry room. That's right. Got a new washer and dryer. Stackable. Stacked. On the way. Stacked. And um, I'm super excited for those things. And I I just figured out because I was trying to figure out what our capacity for our washing machine was yeah. before. And this one is actually larger. Oh, good. Yeah, because I, I I was thinking we had a 4.7 capacity washing machine, but I, it's actually 4.1. Oh, good. And so this washing machine is 4.5 cubic uh, feet or however they do it. So, more, you know. You're speaking a, a woman's language that I don't understand. I, I am. Okay, let me let me break it down to you in a way that you can appreciate. Break it down in horsepower. <laughs> no. Then, then I can <laughs> no. So is it a diesel? Or is it a <laughs> let me break it down in a way you can appreciate it. We can fit our king size comforter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, comfortably in there. You know, like what? So. And we can fit our king size comforter in our old washing machine, which means yeah. that basically whatever we want to wash, we can wash. We can wash it. You know how sometimes if you wash big stuff, mm -hmm. you go to the laundromat just to wash the big stuff right. because you know your washing machine can handle it. Remember, I was stuffed now uh, before we got our new washing machine. I was still trying to stuff our king size comforter in our little, you know. That's probably why you blew the dryer. And it was like, duh, duh. no. <laughs> and it was like, duh, 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 duh. it would get all off balance. And... So that's what happened to that dryer. No. Then coming in and get me and say, uh, I think the dryer broke. No, so the dryer, why. the dryer actually is usually a larger capacity than a washing machine. Why they do that, I don't know. But they make the dryers bigger. They just have a large drum. Can you even tell if the color has changed? Thank Not you. really yet. You can you you can. It's very slight. It's super subtle. Cause I haven't painted. Yeah, yet. I'm just showing okay. here. You see the line here? I haven't painted that yet. Oh, you haven't? That's all primer. Oh. The primer is thick. I only painted painted this wall back here. Okay. Well, no. But clearly, I can't tell. Yeah, cause you, you know how it dries. Yeah, um, because dark. when it's wet, yeah, you can't tell. It just looks like another coat of primer. You so busy like they're talking about that uh, washing, washing machine. Dryer. You don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Painting. Okay. Yeah, so. He's got this wall on the side. Yeah, you can't really tell the difference because, you know, the paint when it first goes on is very, very light, almost white. <laughs> That's what scared us when we first did. Right, we panicked when we first open the oh like oh no it's too light but it darkens when it dries so it's the perfect color once it dries because we wanted a light gray and we almost made the mistake of going with a darker gray yeah. but you really have to go with a shade lighter, lighter than you want um because once it dries it's going to be darker than you think it, it, it is on the paint chip at least. Yeah, we learned that with our house when we got the wrong paint. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done today because I don't want I do not want to be painting tomorrow. There you go. I don't mind touching up tomorrow, but mm -hmm. I want to get the bulk of the paint out the way so I can start on the floors tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Which y'all will see on another video. <laughs> It's 
It'll be nicely painted. Yeah, once, once you have a good, good uh, surface of primer, mm -hmm. this paint here just goes on so easy. It does. I can probably take this just the paint that's on this roller that's that is loaded with. I can probably paint this whole wall mm -hmm. if I really want to just like bow Stretch up. Stretch it, yeah. It's important though, really loading the paintbrush. Oh yeah. Well. We say don't do it like Casanova and them did. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go back to uh, Casanova had paint on one side stuff. of the brush. Nah, he know I'm just talking. They did a good job. Now you're being nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am. Me, me and Casanova, we have a good relationship right now, so. <laughs> Yeah, the paint was going on good, though. Uh-huh. That's nice. I might have to come back with another coat. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, but yeah, I see what you mean. <clears throat> maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it on thick. That's good. It looks other, good. In other rooms, I was trying to save paint, you know, mm -hmm. paint the whole house because we had one five-gallon mm -hmm. bucket. But now we got, <clears throat> got plenty of paint. Yes, and, you know, a little room and plenty of paint. Right, for real. So <laughs> I ain't gonna lower it up. It looks good. I am delighted and happy with our paint color. Like, it's the perfect, most calming gray color. Yeah, it's so funny. We've been renovating so much, we haven't decorated too much yet. Nah, that's gonna but come it, Yeah, it will come. All it's, the couches and TVs exactly. and coffee tables. Stages, you know, all the stages and all the little knickknacks that go on the coffee yeah, table. Yeah, you had to go show them our uh, temporary couch because some people were asking, are y'all gonna get a couch? And I was telling them, like, hey, we have a temporary couch because we're still renovating. Right. Go in there and show them our temporary couch. We and got why it's temporary? And why it's temporary, right. Okay, so yeah. So the back of this has become storage for our tools because we're no longer storing things in the laundry room. So this is kind of our temporary couch. And um, there's a reason why, because we end up getting, like, drywall dust or paint or whatever on it. So we're just using it right now. Um, it's held up pretty well, but once we finish, you know, most of these renovations, we'll be able to focus on the other things like actually getting furniture, getting little floor mats at the doors, and um, yeah, all this stuff is just gonna come little by little, just like it has progressed little by little from the very start of our renovation. Of Emma and you know I just think when you're doing this much work it's not even just about um, having the money to do it and doing a little by little like you literally don't have the mental capacity to do everything all at one time and for it to be good I think or like you know like you want it I learned um, that early on in the renovation yeah because I would go to the um the hardware store and buy all this material yep. and get overwhelmed, you know, mm -hmm. and then end up not using most of the stuff that I bought because I was so overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But if I buy just enough for like a day or two, yeah, and then go back the to the hardware store, you know, yeah, yeah. it's better to keep going because that gives you time to think and readjust and right. reset, right? Instead of having everything there at once, yeah, and you don't get buried or know where to start, you know, yeah. lose so. stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've been doing, just little by little, and I think it comes together better that way too, you know. Looking good. Mm-hmm. You can see how dirty that thing is now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna clean it. I already cleaned off the little uh, vent for our in the process of cleaning off the door that goes here. For the furnace. Right for the furnace, and then I'll clean off that door there. Might need a little spray paint or something. All right, y'all, we're going to get finished painting, and we'll just pick you up when we're done so you can see the beautiful finished product. You want to know one of the best cleaning products? What's that? Elbow grease. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's absolutely free. Just scrub on it. <laughs> Uh, this is a little paint where, um, you know, somebody else was a little bit loose with the paint roll. And it's, it's 
plastic, so it's just scraping right off. Yeah. yeah, a metal, so it's just scraping right off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now here's what it looked like all over. All right, y'all, we're about done with the lunch room for today. And uh, I'm tired. And I was just telling Megan I'm tired and grumpy and I'm hungry. Yes. <laughs> I hadn't ate anything today because I was just locked in and focused because Megan messed around and ordered this uh, washing machine and dryer yesterday, last night. And so now I have a deadline. It's coming in what? It's coming on next month. Six days. Yep. So, I'm, so I'm, you have a week from today. And you know I don't work on Saturday and Sunday. So that means I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday. That's Four right. more days to That's get this right. laundry room complete, right. <laughs> or at least complete enough to have a uh, washer and dryer. Already have it. You know, oh yeah, I'm done. just talking. So yeah, but it's looking good. Let me turn it around, let y'all see before we end the video. All right, y'all. The walls are starting to dry a little bit, which means they're starting to darken and become the actual color gray. So you can actually see what it's going to look like now, and it looks great. I'm really pleased with how the color turned out um and that's why we picked this color it works just as well in a small room as it does in a large room so it's not too dark so that it kind of you know overpowers and make a small room look smaller and um it really brightens up the larger room so very pleased with how everything came out so we accomplished our goal for today tim was able to get everything painted and once it dries, um, tomorrow, he'll be able to come back with the flooring. Yeah, I'm excited to get, get these floors going. And uh, they should just pop right in. I already have them stubbed out here from the floor that I did in the living area. And I uh, just need to go ahead and pop them in all the way through. And I better get all the way through here without even cutting any. Well, I had to cut them one time at least, no notching. And then just fill this space in. So that should go pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And Megan actually get, yes. came in and cleaned this thing off. Just a little elbow grease. That's oh, it. <laughs> yeah. It's looking good. Yeah. She also cleaned this uh, furnace uh, cover off thing. as well. So it's looking good. It's kind of hard. It's small, kind of small room. It's kind of hard to get the yeah, right angles. Especially because you don't want to grow against Touch the paint. Yeah, because I can't lean against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me come this way and show y'all this side here where all the hookups are. And I, I, all they had here over these uh, gaps. It was just a piece of sheetrock that was cut and had a little bit of trim there. So I'm going to try to figure out something else mm -hmm. to do there. Because they have it like it's like an access if you need to fix on something. And they have the same thing here for the hot water heater uh, closet here. So I'm going to figure out something. I might just do another piece of sheetrock and trim it out in some wood or something like that. But also what I'm going to do, because I was going to do it before I started painting and all that type of stuff. But once Megan got the, uh, the washer and dryer ordered, I said I need to go and get done with this room first. But my plan is because if I stick the camera off in here, you can see that there's just empty space off in there. So my plan is I'm going to put some shelves here. I'm going to cut into this, this drywall and then frame it out and put some shelves there some type of way. I ain't quite figured it out yet, but I can do that on down the line once I get done with everything else. All right, y'all. So we're going to go in today's video there. It sounds like the boys are coming in from playing. They've been out on recess. That's so getting dark. Boys. Y'all wanna come peek in here at the laundry room? Yeah. Don't touch the hold walls. Hold on, hold on, hold up. You can't come in because the walls are still wet. It's still a little wet, but you can come see what we're we'll doing. Just so stand here. The smell is strong. Is it? Stand there. All right, stand on. Next person. What y'all think? Good. Y'all like it? Good. Does it look good? Yeah. yeah. It looks better than the other walls. All right, y'all. So we're tired. It's time for me to eat some food. I had ate all day. So we're going to end today's video here. And uh, we've got a lot done. And tomorrow, early in the morning, it's going to be time to put some floors down. And I might even get started on the baseboards as well. And uh, I finally get a chance to do some crown molding myself. <laughs> and, unless I call Bill and say, uh, hey, Bill, you think you can go ahead and do this crown molding in the laundry room? But anyway, in today's video here is IAG Farm. All about We'll see y'all on the next one.